Today, I'm going to discuss the top 5 biggest money pit cars in the United States. A money pit car is a vehicle that you keep pouring money into, but its value keeps decreasing over time. The factors that determine if a car is a money pit include its initial cost, how quickly its value depreciates, how often it breaks down, and how expensive it is to repair. So, here are the top 5 money pits that you can still buy in the U.S. And remember, even if you're rich enough to not care about spending money, most wealthy people got rich by saving and making money, not by wasting it. Starting off at number 5, we have the Audi A4 Quattro. Audis are notorious for depreciating rapidly, with most models losing over 50% of their value in the first four years of ownership. They are expensive to maintain, prone to breakdowns, and can be a nightmare to repair. Customers were experienced blown head gaskets, transmission failures, and costly AC issues with their Audis. Buying a used Audi with high mileage can turn into a money pit in no time. So, if you're considering an Audi A4 Quattro, think twice before taking the plunge. The cars with that kind of mileage are already money pits, even if they were bought cheap. It may have been a bargain to purchase, but the maintenance costs are high. Audis, in general, fall into this category. They are expensive to maintain and have poor resale value. My advice would be to steer clear of them if you want to save money. However, if you absolutely must have one of these money pit cars, lease it. This way, you'll know exactly how much you're spending, avoid repair costs, and return it when the lease is up. Leasing a new one will result in less financial loss compared to buying and selling it later. Speaking from experience, leasing is the way to go. The Jaguar XJ is number 4 on the list of top money pits. Historically, Jaguars have been known for their frequent breakdowns and high maintenance costs. Even with the Chinese owning part of Jaguar now, the reputation remains the same. Despite attempts to improve sales by manufacturing in China, last year saw a significant drop in sales, leading to job cuts due to poor quality manufacturing. A group of owners in China have been protesting at their factory due to the poor quality of the cars they purchased there. Interestingly, the English company Jaguar, which has been known for its poor quality for many years, was acquired by a Chinese company. Even in China, they are experiencing quality issues with the cars they produce there. Personally, I find it quite amusing because when I was younger, Jaguars were considered classy-looking cars. However, they were notorious for falling apart, even in the 60s. Nowadays, all cars look pretty much the same, so they don't stand out like they used to. It's quite ironic that even in China, Jaguar is facing low quality control. If you value your money, I would advise staying away from Jaguars. As for number 3, the BMW X Series, particularly the X3, is worth mentioning. Like most German cars, especially BMWs, they are excessively over-engineered and very expensive. They tend to break down frequently, and when they do, the parts are exorbitantly priced. Additionally, their resale value is horrendous, just like the other top five cars. While you may find a cheap used one, customers who have made that decision often regret it if they keep the car for more than two or three years. The repairs can become a financial burden due to the high-tech nature of the parts and the need for special equipment and mechanics with expertise in complex electronics. Many mechanics prefer not to work on these cars as they require extensive knowledge and specialized tools. They would rather focus on working on normal cars and avoid the frustration of dealing with the intricacies of these German vehicles. The Lexus SUV is a much better investment compared to a BMW. The Lexus SUV lasts much longer and requires significantly less money for repairs. With a Lexus, you can easily keep it running for two to 300,000 miles without any major issues. On the other hand, BMWs lose their value rapidly, often depreciating by 70% or more in the first five years. The overuse of cheap plastic parts in BMWs, especially in hot climates like Texas, leads to frequent breakages and costly repairs. If you value your money, avoid purchasing unnecessary items. Be cautious of the Mercedes S600, as it is known for being a costly investment. These cars originally cost over $100,000, and their resale value dropped significantly. 
For example, a customer bought a used S600 with 70,000 miles for 12 grand, despite its original price being over $120,000. This shows that the car lost more than 90% of its value. These vehicles are constant financial burdens due to their low resale value and expensive repairs. While they may have high fuel consumption, the main issue is the significant depreciation with high mileage. Despite being luxury cars, they are not worth the hefty investment. They are true money pits, where the money you put in is lost, and you will continue to spend on repairs. If you enjoy having a luxury money pit, go ahead, but avoid purchasing a used one with high mileage. It is better to sell the car for whatever you can get, rather than continuously investing in repairs. It is important to cut your losses before more significant issues arise. These days, a mid-engine Porsche is a Cayman S. Now, this project you want is a true sports car. It boasts a six-speed manual transmission and handles exceptionally well. They are a joy to drive. However, they can be endless money pits. Take the suspension system, for example. It's all adjustable and can be set to different modes, but here's the catch, it's all computer run. Unfortunately, the suspension components on this particular car are worn out and clunk like crazy. If I were to replace all four of them, including the front and back struts, with factory equipment parts and labor, it would cost well over $5,000. Yes, you heard that right, five grand just to change the shock absorbers. Moreover, due to the mid-engine design, working on the engine itself can be a nightmare. Many repairs require dropping the engine, which can be quite costly. Even simple things like replacing the water pump become a major ordeal. And let's not forget about the exhaust system. If that needs attention, be prepared to pay a hefty price. Trust me, you won't be able to tackle these repairs in your backyard. Lastly, older Porsches, especially those with automatic transmissions, can be a nightmare. They break down frequently as they age, and fixing them often costs more than the car itself is worth. So, my advice is to steer clear of buying one of these used models, especially if it has an automatic transmission. They're simply not worth the trouble. I was thinking, well, I'll take it to a Porsche expert before buying. The guy checked it out and said, if you want this car to run well, you'll need to spend about $40,000 on it. Keep in mind, he could have bought the car for six or seven thousand dollars, but ended up putting forty grand into it. So, if you absolutely must have a Porsche, you should know exactly how much money you're throwing away. You can give it back to them for repairs without having to pay, but it will still cost a reasonable amount. However, you'd end up spending a lot more if you bought one, maintained it, and then sold it for next to nothing. Now you know my top 5 picks for the biggest money pit cars in the US and why you should steer clear of them before making a regretful purchase.